We got this in a Chick-fil-A kids meal. So. And you're going to give me clues or you're going to act it out? I will give you clues. Okay. Is it big? If it was a baby, it would kind of be a medium. Is, it, are the adults big? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, does it live in the water? Um, does it, it live near the water? Yeah, yeah. Mm, is it a fish? No. Okay. Is it a walrus? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> What's going on friends and welcome back. If you don't know me already, my name is Lauren and I am a homeschooling mom. I used to be a traditional teacher in a regular classroom and I'm sharing some hacks in the ways that I have switched my mindset to not only think that homeschooling is possible, but that it's much more beneficial than traditional school and I wanna show you guys how we do that. Um, okay, so this is a very real background over here. I have, I wanted to show you guys like the raw and unedited stuff that you probably don't see in other people's YouTube videos. So we have not used this room since like my last Instagram post about it. We come in here and like work on the carpet because this is the one place that our animals are not allowed. But I haven't even changed the little sign that says summer is coming. So I'm getting all of my stuff, my mental kind of checklist going for when we do rev up for our like next, I guess, checkpoint because we are doing like year round schooling. So we're gonna take some time off and then start back up probably in September, so like September 1st. So we're currently doing our summer learning. I'm gonna go ahead and plug our summer learning challenge if you haven't seen that already. Um, and that we took this week to kind of just rest and then we have two more weeks to go um, with our summer learning and then we're gonna stop and take a little break for the last bit of summer and as the weather hopefully starts to cool off a little bit and then rev back up. So I'm trying to get my act together in here ahead of the game so that when it is time for us to start back, we can do that with a fresh slate. And I also want us to start being able to do more of our activities and things in here because we've added a little bit more to our summer routine and I'll be doing a little video about that in the upcoming weeks, just FYI. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I'm looking for, some of the things I've found already and share those with you in case you're getting your homeschool area or space or room ready for the upcoming year as well. So don't feel like it all has to be perfect. Our first year was like this past year and we definitely made a complete change to our entire space and something that works for us. Not that's just cute in pictures or on Pinterest. So this area has worked much more for us to feel like welcome to come in here and more relax than come in here and know that it only has to be learning, which is kind of the approach that I took to it and therefore my son took to it our first year. So now that it feels like part of our home and not a separate space of school inside of our home, I'm planning for it to be much more enjoyable. And for me, that also means more organization and accessibility to what I need in order to lead that operation. So um, I've been doing lots of looking around, lots of browsing for more organization kind of things. And I want to switch from these kind of cloth baskets. And although there are so many cute styles and like the woven plastic even, and the cloth or like the baskets or like the, the linens, the really cute things, I need something to be clear so that I can see what's inside of it from doing something else. Like if we're in the middle of an activity, I wanna be able to look over and be like, oh yeah, there's that thing that I am gonna need next or whatever it may be. And I've always kind of been like that, but now I'm wanting to lean into it more and not be afraid to make things work for me too. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the things that I have picked up so far and what I'm keeping my eyes peeled for, I'll share with you soon. But like I was saying, let me reverse a little bit and go back to talking about the perfection side of like your office or your learning space doesn't exist. We have an entire counter full of 
broken toys that need to be repaired and another socket that needs to be replaced. And like I was sharing with you guys, a whole board over here that is more cute than it is functional at the moment. So don't be intimidated. It's very possible. Make it work for you and not for the internet or for people who are going to be seeing it, but for you and for your kids and for everybody's needs, that's what we're going for. All right, I've probably shown you guys these before. We use these quite a bit, and I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, so excuse me, but um, these come from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two, so they're really like 50 cents each, and they have a seal on them. If there's anything that you want to put in there that's like super tiny, this is the perfect little container for it. Um, this will fit a regular, size like pack of crayons perfectly and then you'll be able to see into them or you can make it to where you can toss the yucky box away that's what we like to do and then i also have these little containers and like i said i love to have the clear because you can kind of see what's in it this one is just a little bit more opaque but they do connect together and these like are in the kitchen section of the Dollar Tree. And I, I like these boxes for this kind of stuff, like the non-traditional writing utensils, I guess. Um, those will not fit in this kind of container, just FYI. So that kind of gives you um, the size cut off here. So these are just like a few inches. This does fit a deck of cards though, so that's great for keeping all of your cards in place so they don't get tattered and torn along with the box as well. And then another thing that I have found so far, um, this little bin, these are from Family Dollar and they're also $1. So I picked up a few of those. They also have a latch on them, so I liked that. And let me show you guys over here. This is like part of our little closet shelf makeover. And I have two more of those bins back here. So as you can see, they fit quite a bit. And this is gonna be all for our writing utensils and things like that. But to be able to see into it, I love because I can glance over and know what's in there or ask my son to grab it and he can see it without having to dig through everything that may already be organized. And then I just think that this is so cute, this little jar with the markers in it, but it's kind of out of place. So this is what I'm working on right now is to switch out some things in here to make it a little more functional and easier to manage. And I'll show you guys this other side. This has like some of our little knickknacks and things in there that we had on our previous shelves. Um, and so there's like my husband's football stuff in this one. So that, those types of things, I'm okay with them being concealed in there. And then we have some leveled readers that are like in, what are those things called? The sheet protectors in all of these little booklets over here. I don't think there's anything in there. And then some of my little go-to notebooks and things. It's the realistic guide to starting homeschool. And then this is a bunch of templates for planning and things. And there are my beloved um, photo boxes just kind of tucked away over there too. So, and our personal files. So this is what's in this closet. And so my goal is just to kind of start really just getting it ready for our next phase of learning. And then I also want to, of course, make it just a little cutesy. So I need to get a few more things to go on these little shelves over here. So that's the game plan. So this is probably gonna be like part one, but I did just wanna show you guys where I'm headed. And then of course, keep you updated as we go.